Good evening, everyone. This is Mr. Lowe with today's lesson on calculating area of a rectangle. Uh, back in um, fourth grade, you all should remember that to calculate the area of a rectangle, all you had to do was calculate the square units of that particular rectangle. So I have a rectangle on the board, uh, on the screen. And all we did back in fourth grade is we counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We said that the area equaled 12 square units. And that should be something that, was, uh, that you remember. And uh, it's actually something that's real good to use. Uh, it's an easy way to calculate the area of any uh, object just count the number of square units that that object takes up but in fifth grade what we would like to do is try and increase that uh, just a little bit and get it just a little bit easier for you in terms of what we are calculating so now I can draw a rectangle on our board and it could be any size maybe we'll do it something like this and again I'm just going to go ahead and make it so that I can see through that rectangle so we can still see the square units, it'll be easy for us. But I know there's a formula for calculating whoops, the area, sorry about that, of, and that's, and I'm really having a hard time typing today, area of a rectangle. And that formula is area equals length times width. The length of the object times the width of that object. So if I look at my rectangle here, I have an object that is one, two, or that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares long by one, two, three, four, five, six squares wide, and I know because I'm pretty good at multiplying math facts, that 7 times 6 is going to give me 42. Now the cool thing about area is it has to be in square units. So I'm going to write square units. Square units. Area always must be in square units. As we're going through these, you want to make sure that you have that part written down. Uh, let's do a couple of more examples here. Again, working with triangle or working with rectangles only. We'll try and keep it fairly simple for us. I'm going to do a lot of different examples so we can kind of see what we're doing. Let's make it an easy one. We'll do something like this. Okay, so there's my rectangle. I'm going to put it on our squares. Make it so that I can see through it. And in this case, I have, whoops, let's do this just a little bit better. There we go. I have an, a rectangle that is two square units wide or long by three square units, one, two, three, wide. So again, I'm going to rewrite my formula, my equation, area equals the length of the object times the width of the object. We said that it was two times three. Now I want you to watch something here very closely. What if we said that one of these squares one square equals one centimeter. So now I have this length of this square is three centimeters long, and the length of this square, or this, this side of my rectangle, is two centimeters long. So now I have two centimeters times three centimeters. That's going to equal six, because I multiply two times three, centimeters squared. Remember, area is always in square units. It's always going to be something raised to the second power. Area is always in square units. Now, you might be asking yourself, hey, Mr. Lowe, actually, you might be asking me, hey, Mr. Lowe, what would happen if my rectangle does not go over an entire square? What if it's something like this? where I might have it on my paper and it's kind of cutting those squares in half. And again, I'm going to try and get this so that you can see through it. And you can see, there we go, that looks about like half. We have a rectangle 
that has one, two, three, four, five units, and in this case we'll call them centimeters, five centimeters wide by one, two, two and a half, or by 2.5 centimeters long. So it's five centimeters wide, 2.5 centimeters long. It's really nothing different. I know that the area of a rectangle equals its length times its width, and I know that my rectangle is 2.5 centimeters long. There's a decimal point there. 2.5 centimeters long times five centimeters wide, and now I would have to multiply. So again, we remember how to multiply decimals. It's just 2.5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry my 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. And I have one decimal place in my products. One decimal place there. I take the decimal here, and I move it one place over. So the answer is 2.5 times 5 is 12.5, or 12 and 1 half units. Uh, not units, centimeters squared. So that's going to actually be this. There's my 5 centimeters squared. And we can prove that by counting our spaces. Counting our spaces in our problem. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's a half. That's a half. That's a half. That's a half. And that's a half. And I know that a half plus a half is a whole, and another half plus another half is a whole. So now I have actually not 10 square units, but I have 10, 11, because that's one square unit together. 12, that's one square unit together, 0.5. 12 and a half square units. So far, so good. Now, one other question that might come up is what if we have a shape that is not necessarily what we would call a classic rectangle? So let's go ahead and design one of those shapes, and let's kind of see what we get here. I'm just going to follow a graph, a grid. I'm going to start here and go down this way, maybe. I'm going to say over here. And then maybe down to here. And then over one. And then down. And over here. And let's go up. Let's go over. Let's go down. Let's go over. And let's go up. So now I have a shape that might look like that. And I can very easily count square units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the area should be 16 square units. Okay? But now, what if we didn't have the graph paper below? What if we didn't have that graph paper underneath? Very, very easy way to do this is I could split this whole object up into square or into rectangles. I can go like that. Uh, let's choose a different color. I don't like that. I don't know. Let's maybe go brown. There we go. So there's a line. So this is a rectangle that is now a three by one. This is a rectangle that is now a two by two. This is a rectangle that is a two by two. This is a rectangle here that is also a two by two. And then we have a one by one. So let's see if we get the same answer here. So it's a little more work, but I think you guys will kind of see what we're doing here. So to find the area of this little rectangle right here, all I got to do is go three times one. So that rectangle is three square units. And if it's centimeters, it could be centimeters. Centimeters squared. And then I have a two by two, and I know that a two by two is four centimeters squared. And I have another two by two right here. So there's a two by two, and that's also four centimeters squared. And I have another two by two right here. Two by two, which is four centimeters squared. And I got this little guy way over here on the other side. He's just a one by one. 
one by one, which equals one centimeter squared. Now, to find the area of the entire figure, we'd have to add up all those little areas together, which when we do that, we have four plus four plus four, which is 12, plus three, which is 15, plus one more, which is 16 centimeters squared. And if you look at this number down here, and you look at the number that we calculated for the entire thing, they should be exactly the same. All right, that's it for today's lesson on the area of a rectangle. Basically, you need to understand that it is area equals length times width. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to uh, watch the, don't forget to uh, fill out your Google form, and don't forget to do the Khan Academy video lessons. All right, you guys, have a great day. We'll see you.